So the cost of Chicago, how much was your flight? So I flew non-rev, round trip, total $7. Seven zero. Seven zero. Okay. How much was lodging? Lodging was 595 How much? And that was for four or three nights? Three nights, yes. How much was transportation? Transportation was amazing. $15. Ooh. One five. I got a three-day public transportation train pass Perfect. that took me on trains and buses, covered everything. Okay. How much was activities? Activities. This is going to be a roundabout one. I'm going to say about 200 I'll put it like this. Hamilton tickets were maybe $250 for two people's tickets mm-hmm. in weird seats. We weren't like in the front. Um, but just the weekend that I went by myself, probably like 100, 150. 100, 150. And that was for museum access and everything. Mm-hmm. And then food? I mean, food's where it got a little expensive. So, I mean, at the very least, like 350. Okay. And then the total cost of Chicago was. Da, 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 da. Let's pretend I added it up. <laughs> so we're just going to say about 660, 675, 975, about 1100. So the total cost for Chicago was. Like 1200. 1200 for yeah. four days, three nights. Yeah. That's not bad. You went to a bunch of museums. It's not bad, but this is why I've been going out of the country so much because I spent. Domestic is yeah. travel is expensive. It is. It's fun and you think, oh, it's going to be cheaper. I'm just going to go somewhere in the States. And this is flying non-rev. This is doing, well, I was going to say doing everything I could to travel cheaply. But clearly, when you hear my food stories, I'm not doing anything to no, travel cheaply. No, you don't think on that. No. So that was 1200 for one person. Yes. And who would you recommend go? Like Chicago, from your mm-hmm. perspective, is who? Okay. That is a good question. Really have to like center myself and think about it. I think... Obviously, it works for a solo traveler because I had a great time. Okay. And there's so much that you can do that doesn't have to be interactive with other people. Like, you know, when you're sitting on a beach, you kind of need someone to be there to talk to Mm -hmm. because there's only so long that you can stare at waves before you're like, this is lonely. It's perfect for a solo traveler because you're not lonely. Is it a backpacker place? I mean, if you're coming from another country and you want to see the U.S., I do think you should throw Chicago on the list. Okay. Okay. I know people are like, oh, New York, Los Angeles, and maybe the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. But I think Chicago should be on there as well. If you're going for a girl's trip, um, it's not a prime girl's trip place to me. What about a guy's trip? You know what? I didn't do nighttime stuff. So So we're not sure about girls' guys' trip. What about families? I think families would have fun there. The river cruise, the river walk, the science museum, all of the museums would totally work for a family. Hey. Okay. That's all for this week. Link up with us on Instagram at Flirting with Travel or check out flirtingwithtravel.com for itineraries and more travel hacks. Taking off. Love you.